Ha ha! Guys, two goals scored, zero conceded. Another clean sheet for Edouard Mendy. Three points in the pocket. Congratulations to the boys. Now we are ready for Real Madrid. Bring it on. Bring it on, Zidane. We are ready for you. Please watch my sofa vlog. I spent a lot of time making it. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching another episode of Sofa Vlog. Sofa Vlog from the US, but I'm taking you to Stamford Bridge, where the Blue Lions are going to play against Fulham, the noisy neighbors. Today is the day to go big or go home, if that makes sense. We need to win this game and try to qualify for top four otherwise our only option to the champions league next season will be to win the champions league this season before we continue please help your brother out subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below share the news we are on our way to 100k it's gonna happen very very soon be part of the history be part of the family yes we can yes we will the lineup just came out mendy christensen tiago silva kurt zuma rhys james billy gilmore mason mount chilwell zh harvard verna Sabs, kepa alonzo aspiliqueta georginio kante Andrew, Kalium Hassan Adoy, Pulisic, and Abraham. Hmm, man, I'm not gonna say anything because I, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of defending Abraham and Kalium Hassan Adoy. I'm not uh, the boss. I don't make decisions. All I want today is a win. So if he wins, he's gonna be a genius. If he loses, He's going to be a mug at the end. So let's just trust the process, trust the manager, and let's see what is going to happen. Uh, Billy Gilmore and Mason Mount in the pivot position. It could work. Yeah, I see what he's trying to do. And, you know, I've been asking for Billy Gilmore to be given a chance. Let's just uh, enjoy Billy Gilmore. Okay. The first half, they really started all gun blazing. They pushed us back. We had hard time to get out of our own half. My goodness, a lot of pressure. Sometimes I don't understand why we always try to play from the back. When you are under a lot of pressure like that, just uh, play long and release the pressure. We try to play Tiki Taka in our own box. It was a dangerous, dangerous move. And fourth minute into the game, Edouard Mendy, what a save. That was going to be some golasso. If it was Kepa Arisa Balaga in goal, I can tell you 99% of the time that was going to be a goal because that shot from Robinson. Oh my goodness. Edouard Mendy got it because he's tall. Kepa Arisa Balaga was going to make it a spectacular unsavable goal because of his size are we clear here and then seven minutes a counter beautiful counter and guess what timo verna couldn't type in yeah and i heard all kind of people saying that tammy abraham always have like typing but now we can't even have a typing so you choose my friend are you gonna take somebody who is missing all kind of goals or somebody who can at least score you certain kind of goals because it looks like typing on count for certain people very sad and biased opinions and guess what 10th minute what a counter 
Mason Mount first touch. My goodness, he eliminated two players in that first touch. Pass the ball to Kai Harvett. What a golasso from Kai Harvett. 1-0 Chelsea Football Club. Guess what? 13 minutes. Somehow, Timo Werner found himself in the box. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Missed the ball for some reason. I don't know if I have to continue reporting about Timo Werner because I was going to have another hard attack here. So at least three clear chances. If he was a world-class kind of a striker, he was going to turn them to golassos. 17 minutes, Kai Havert scored an offside goal, but I was celebrating as if it was a real goal because we don't even score. We can't even score in an empty net. So that's how bad we've been this season when it comes to the final third. 23 minutes, another save from Edouard Mendy. Of course, our own fault. Try to play from the back, Tiki Taka, and then somehow Fulham got that chance. And Mendy, what a save! Again, if he was Kepa Arisa Balaga, it was going to be a goal. Mendy's long arms and reflection abilities is helping us a lot this season. And this is not me getting on Kepa Arisa Balaga, it's just the truth here. Let's go and talk about the 39th minute. Hakim Ziyech. Brother, how can you miss that chance? We were very dangerous in counter. I mean, in possession, I think Fulham were dominating. But every time we got a ball, we had very good counters. But as usual, the final third, we always miss chances. And it was a very good cross from Timo Werner and Hakim Ziyech. How could you miss that, brother? After that, <laughs> again, Timo Werner missed some chances here and there. Man, it was just like a ping pong game, kind of. But we could have scored more than three goals in the first half. Or we could have lost because they had some dangerous actions too. Stoppage time in the first half. Wow, Mendy again with a save. And that save, he already went to the other side and the reflection to come and save that ball tells you everything you want to know about this brother. We are lucky to have Edouard Mendy. I'm so happy about the boy. And what a moment to make such a save because it was going to be 1-1 first half and then the second half, anything can happen. Now we are going with uh, one goal advantage Hopefully, Thomas Tuko can, you know, twist his system a little bit to try to see this game out because it doesn't look good at all. Second half, 2-0 to Chelsea from the get-go. Wow. Chile, what a pass to Kai Havert. Look at the first touch from Kai Havert. 1-2 with Timo Werner and then what a goal cool collected calm just like nothing happened you know he wasn't panicking or anything this guy is a cold killer but he needs to do it often let's go for hat trick now timo verna with an assist i hope he can get a goal before the end of this game because it's gonna give him some confidence and this is what it is in football okay you can flop the entire game, but if you score a goal or you make an assist, people are going to forget. Let me talk quickly about certain individuals before I forget. Rhys James, oh my gosh, the boy took his game to the next level. The amount of blocks he made today to save the defense ridiculous my goodness he was great defensively we all know how he can be great offensively but today he wasn't putting those crosses because you know what the point no Giroud in front he was just putting some intelligence passes and the defensive work today my goodness you have to admire that boy and let's talk about Billy Gilmo the goat because certain people started you know calling the kid some kind of bad names but let me tell you what the kid been out for the freaking year okay he hasn't played a lot of games this season 
and this is his first game after i don't mean i don't know how many games so you have to understand that it takes a little bit time to settle it's gonna be the same for tammy abram it's gonna be the same for olivier giroud when you've been on the bench forever my goodness it takes you time to adapt in a normal game hello people don't understand that he started i can say 50 50 but he grew during the match okay he was getting more and more comfortable and he finished on high so billy gilmore i'm so proud of you my boy we made some changes but it was just to slow the game down and try to save some energy to certain players for the game against real madrid engolo kante came on for zh tammy abram came on for Mason Mount and Alonso came on for Ben Shewell. Let me focus a little bit on Tammy Abraham because there were so many people waiting for the I told you moment, you know, when he does something so they can say I told you so. Tammy is a flop. He's not the Chelsea level blah, 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 blah BS. But the boy been out, I don't know for how many months, you know, he, he barely played this season. But people are expecting him to come and score 100 goals in one game. They will forget all the tapping and all the, all the sitters that other people been missing. They will focus on a very half chance or 50-50 chance that Tammy Abraham uh, will miss. But you know what, brother? Leave Tammy alone because he's leaving your club. The end of the season, Tammy is going somewhere else where he can enjoy football and let's talk after a few seasons when he've, he's given a chance to develop and enjoy his football. 2-0 at the end. Another clean sheet for Edouard Mendy. Three points in the pocket and we are ready for Real Madrid. Let's go. If you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe. If you really like the video, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification. And turn on your notification. For more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here. What are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Uh, I can't find you. Maybe.